everybody. You are getting your daily dose of motivation. This is episode 102, Mountain Dog. That's right. <sighs> I went hiking today and I thought that I would be able to have some energy left to edit the video from that hike and post it for you guys, but I am dead. My entire body is dead. I mean, I think I'll be okay, but <laughs> I was telling my buddy Tony that went hiking with me today. We went to Dog Mountain, and I should have, just from the name of it, I should have researched it a little bit more, should have been a little smarter. I tell you guys all the time, you know, if you're out of shape, if you're a bigger person, if you go on any kind of crazy events like marathons, obstacle course races, uh, hikes that are insane, definitely do, do your research so that you don't uh, go through what I went through today. I will say that 90% of the hike was awesome and the last 10% on the way down, I was not a good person to myself. I didn't, I didn't want to take it out on Tony, so most of it was just me talking shit about myself, uh, not using any of the tools that I've been talking about with you guys, and honestly, I don't even blame myself, because at the core of it all, when the stress was up a billion percent, and all of my pain was just pulsating throughout my body, towards the end of that hike, literally every step that I took felt like just a hot knife going up through my feet into my soul and maybe I'm being a little dramatic but honestly it was bad <laughs> I told Tony at one point I was like I don't even know I don't I can't there's nothing I can do I'm not gonna have a helicopter come get me or like John Wick on a horse or something <laughs> But at a certain point, the, the hill was so steep and there was still so much to go and I was in so much pain. I did not want to sit still though because I know myself and if I sit still, I mean, there really wasn't anywhere to sit at a certain point. It, it was a fucking mountain. I climbed an entire mountain today. I don't care what anybody else says. That's what I was telling Tony as well. I was like, I know I wasn't wearing crazy mountain climbing gear and I didn't climb like a rock face wall or whatever. But uh, I climbed a mountain because when I got to the top, I looked over and I saw aligned with me like the top of Mount Hood. So <laughs> I'm proud of what I did. I'm glad that I made it through. I will never admit that I made it 100% through gracefully, but it was it was a good experience. Like I said, I'm glad I went. My body's not glad, but I'm trying to be smart now. I tell you guys all the time, do your research, make sure that you can do uh, whatever you're planning to do and that you're not going to injure yourself to increase dis discouragement and make you not want to continue with your journey and just feel down about it. I know that I'm going to be in a lot of pain in the next couple days, so I'm preparing for that. I'm trying to be smart and I'm trying to recover from my stupidity of putting this body up a mountain and then back down. Um, I think I'll be fine with all the conditioning I've been doing. It's just being this out of shape, you know, and I beat myself all up. I beat myself up a lot. I'm lucky that I didn't mess up before this. I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. And you're like, what are you doing out? I'll get to that in a minute. But I was beating myself up on the way down and uh, I recognized it a little bit, but I just let it happen. I was so exhausted. I was so angry at how much pain I was in. And I didn't want to take it out on Tony or anybody else because I'm the one that decided to go. And uh, it just was not a pretty sight. And I'm sure somebody heard some of the crazy stuff I was saying, but I, I just didn't know what else to do. I was just trying to push through and make it. But once I got inside the car, whoo, I almost just passed out. On the way home, I'm surprised I didn't fall asleep. My eyes, they felt so heavy, but... I am feeling a little bit of pain uh, for sure in my entire body right now from, from what I've done, which makes me excited about waking up tomorrow and the next day after that when it gets worse. I'm trying to get ahead of it, like I said. So right now I'm in the parking lot waiting for my last minute appointment that I made to go float in a salt tank. I'm excited about that. I know that it will help with my muscles and definitely right now it's going to help to relieve all the stress uh, in the moment of the hour that I'm in floating in the tank and that sounds so nice I couldn't pass it up so I called and made an appointment just trying to get ahead of everything like I said 
I know I made a stupid decision, but now I'm trying to make smart decisions to recover from the stupid decisions. That's all you could do, right? I will definitely research a lot better uh, the next couple hikes that I do and just make sure that I'm physically capable to to do it 100% without whining like a little, a little, wee little girl. Anyway, hope all of you are having a good weekend. Hope you're having a great life. And if you're not having either of those, it will get better. Keep going at it. Just like I did on that mountain today, I just kept going and I kept going and I finally made it back down. And you know what? You can make it up that mountain of whatever obstacle you're dealing with and it might be hell all the way up and it might be hell all the way down, but just stick with it. You will make it back to your fucking car and you will make it to your destination of being happy. Keep it real, my friends, and I love you all. <laughs>